So apparently Matt Canada called a pretty good game this past weekend in the Pittsburgh Steelers victory over the Tennessee Titans. Well, let's look at the film. Let's look at a few plays and see where Canada's play design made a difference. So on this play here, this is going to be a screen to Jalen Warren. Uh, Jalen Warren initially was lined up next to Kenny Pickett. And as he goes into motion, the left inside linebacker is going to kind of follow him in motion as well. And what that is going to do is that's going to put him in position to get blocked by Darnell Washington. Darnell Washington is going to go up, take him, and take him out of the play. And then you have a hat on a hat between the two receivers on the outside. So this play is very, it's very important that the wide receivers win. And he was basically one-on-one -on -one with Jalen Warren and the safety. I like that odds, you know, how far the safety is back as well, usually equates to a big play. And, and that's what ends up happening here. Let's watch it from the back angle. It should come as no secret or surprise that the receivers that were on the left side of the field blocking for the screen were Darnell Washington, Allen Robinson, and George Pickens. Three receivers that love blocking, that are good at blocking. Let's continue. And on this play here, I think is probably one of Kenny Pickett's best throws. I think maybe the 35-yarder down the sideline to Deontay Johnson that one was a little bit more impressive. But this one was pretty good as well. It's not just the throw. It's the read. It's the play based on what the defense is doing. And let's get into it. First thing that we notice, it appears that the defense is playing in cover two with two safeties up top. And your defensive backs are giving quite a bit of cushion here and here are the receiving routes and because of the cushion at the bottom of the screen between the cornerback and Deontay Johnson I think Kenny Pickett is probably assuming that that cornerback is probably going to go up the field and I think initially he is anticipating perhaps Connor Hayward's going to come open however instead you have the cornerback following and looking at Connor Hayward I think that's why there's a little bit of a stutter in this play. You know, when I broke down this play earlier this week, I questioned the timing behind it. I thought I thought Kenny Pickett was a little bit late. Now that I've you know been able to look at this play a little bit more, uh, I just feel that like he was reading the cornerback on the zone. And, uh, would you like that read to be a little bit quicker? I think so. But he made the right read. He made a great throw to Deontay Johnson. Uh, good decision, good play by Kenny Pickett. And real quick, before we go on to the next play, I want to remind you guys, if you haven't done so yet, smash that like button. Consider hitting the subscribe button by ringing that bell. Now, let's get back into it. So in this play here, this is, in my opinion, a great play by Broderick Jones. This is the reason why I think he is and should be the starter. Uh, just his, the little things, it's the details. It's going to be a touchdown by Najee Harris. It's going to be the touchdown run. So what you're going to have is you're going to have Broderick Jones. He's going to chip on the uh, defense tackle here in front of James Daniel. And then he's going to go up to the next level. And his job duty is going to be number 50, the inside linebacker to the left of the screen. Now, this linebacker, obviously, once the play starts and Najee Harris gets the ball, he's going to start to drift over to the right side. What Broderick Jones is going to do is he's going to allow him to continue to go to the right side and basically use his block on him to also block Terrell Edmonds. He ends up affecting three different blocks on this play. You, you might even say four. Isaac Sayumwalu, number 73, is going to be looping around. He has a clean hole to loop into to, to hit his assignment, number two, the other inside linebacker. And because of the chip that Broderick Jones did, it, it made it all possible. You got the chip going up to the second level and then getting in the way of Terrell, of Terrell Edmonds. Great play by Broderick Jones. I haven't seen Chicks Core Ford do that yet up to this point in the season. Another reason why I think the Steelers made the right move. And on this play here, it's just pure talent and ability from Jalen Warren. Uh, this play is going to get stuffed up. He's just going to bounce it out to the uh, outside and just outrun quite a few people. And this is why a lot of folks think that Jalen Warren should be RB1. You know, for me, I think I like the one-two punch between those two. Use them as a combo, not versus each other. Like I say, just bounces it out and able to get to the outside with quick quickness and agility. Gets the first down. Well, from the higher angle, as you can see, Terrell Edmonds crashes in. We've seen this before. All right. And this may be looking for a minute, but Terrell Edmonds crashes in into the hole, forces Jalen Warren to bounce it out. Like I said on the previous clip, that was all on Jalen Warren. Good job. We got a big Jalen run. We're going to get a big Naj run. 
on this play here, it's all solely on the offensive line. Hat on a hat, doing their job. James Daniels putting Mason Cole in position to drop down his, his defensive tackle. Barter Jones, hat on a hat. Sam Wallow, hat on a hat. Big play. This is this is good stuff here. Good run by Najee Harris. Good vision. All nine yards, but excellent job from the offensive line. And here's that dreaded jet sweep. But this play, it works. And why? A big old block from George Pickens on Terrell Edmonds. The Steelers kind of picked on him a little bit, in my opinion, in this game. But can you blame them? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. This is going to be the George Pickens one foot out of bounds. Could have had his foot in bounds play. And the reason why this play works, in my opinion, is line up. George Pickens is lined up in the slot. It's going to be man coverage across the board with a single safety over the top. You can tell by the lack of cushion given by the defensive backs and the one safety lined up at the top. Here are the routes that George Pickens and Allen Robinson are going to be running. Should give him a wide open throw to the uh, slot fade there. And as I said, you know, in um, my other breakdown video of Kenny Pickett, I think the ball could have been placed somewhere a little bit better. However, George Pickens should have caught that ball. He should have had his feet inbounds. He had plenty of space to put his feet inbounds. I just think when you look at both aspects of the play, the throw and the catch, I think both of them failed in that situation. I think the throw could have been a little bit closer towards the pylon and not so close to the sideline. It's not the first pass that Kenny Pickett, you know, maybe leads the receiver a little bit too far out to the sideline. But either way, George Pickens had almost the yard, if not even more than a yard, to to get that other foot inbounds. And he he's claiming to be, you know, one of these top elite receivers. You know, he's acting as a diva as if he's proven something when we expect to see this type of play be made all right let's move on this is going to be the touchdown pass to deontay johnson and what really makes this play is going to be alan robinson who's lined up right next to him and the reason being is what he's going to do is he's going to go up then he's going to move towards uh, the sideline and then come back and slant and the reason why he's doing that is as you can see the pressure between as you can see the lack of cushion there it appears that these guys are in man and some defenses, and I'm assuming the Pittsburgh Steelers saw this in film study or scouting, that when a scissors or a crossing route is ran by the receivers, these cornerbacks and defensive backs are good at passing off those different players. And so when Allen Robinson goes up towards the sideline and Deontay Johnson's going to loop down, I think that those two cornerbacks automatically felt that they were switching. And so the outside cornerback ends up guarding Allen Robinson, and then he cuts back towards the inside. And as he's doing so, he blocks or rubs the defensive back who would be guarding Deontay Johnson. So here's the switch. And then they go back. And as you can see, Allen Robinson is right there in the way to give Deontay Johnson a wide open area of the field to get that throw and touchdown. Game one, Pittsburgh Steelers. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I think, in fact, maybe perhaps Matt Canada did indeed call a pretty decent game this past weekend. Let's see if he can do it again this upcoming week against the Green Bay Packers. I think the ribs may have impacted Kenny Pickett a little bit more than many are giving credit, including myself. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. I appreciate everybody who's watching and all the new subscribers. Thank you. And to the ones that have been here since the beginning, a big thank you to you as well. Tell your friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. With that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.